morning, nights, and welcome back to the Westmount Highlights. It's the week of October 18th, 2021. Photo ID makeup day will be taking place on Monday, October 18th. Only students who are absent on the initial photo ID day will be called down to the auditorium. You may have already heard that each month our school will learn about and practice a different value, and this month's value is gratitude. Here's Mr. Phelan with a little more on that. Hi, Westmount. This is Mr. Phelan here, and I wanted to talk to you a little bit this week about gratitude. So that idea of being thankful for the people and situations that make our life better, easier to deal with, and put a smile on our face. So last week you were working with the gratitude leaves and thinking about things in your life that you're grateful for. This week we're going to take a little bit of a different approach and we're going to be thinking about the people in our community that have made our lives a little bit better. So for me, for instance, I think about the student in Sec 5 that still says hello. I haven't taught him in years, but he makes a point of catching me and giving me a wave when we pass in the hall. I'm thinking about the guidance counselors that you know, have sat down and helped me when I'm trying to deal with something rough, or other teachers that have helped me out. There's a lot of people that I'm incredibly, incredibly grateful for. And I want you to think about your life and your life in the school, and think about the people on staff and the other students that have helped you out, the people you're grateful for. So you're going to get a couple of these, and these are notes that you are going to end up passing to those people. You're going to write one note to a staff member. Maybe it's a caretaker who helped you out or a secretary that has had your back when things got rough or a teacher that helped you to get through a course. You're also going to write uh, another note to a student. It might be someone who helped you with your locker, who shared some notes when you missed your time or just, you know, had your back when you were having a hard day. So again, this week we're looking at gratitude. Your homeroom teacher will give you some of these notes to fill out. And we're going to pass them around just as a way of saying, man, I recognize you and I recognize what you do. And I just wanted to say I'm grateful and I appreciate it. So you guys have a fantastic day. Take care. Thank you, Mr. Phelan. I got to say, I have so much that I'm grateful for, but I just want to give a quick shout out to all the teachers who work so tirelessly to make this school what it is. I hope you're able to take a moment and let one or more of your teachers know how they've made a positive impact on your day, week, your month. It's such a great project. Update on yearbooks. Any students who purchased a yearbook last year and did not pick it up last week can go see CJ in room 102, which is right next to the music room, after school on Monday to collect it. Quick reminder that all students are required to have their hallway passports signed by a teacher if they need to leave class for any reason. So please make sure you have your agenda with you throughout the day. This is the last week we'll be accepting submissions for this year's 22nd animated highlights intro. Make sure to send your clips to my email address, mshapr.emsb.qc.ca. Things we are looking for, creativity, humor, and most importantly, some WHS representation. The winner will be announced on next week's episode. As usual, don't forget to check out the Daily Bulletin with more information on extracurricular activities, tryouts, general announcements. You can review all bulletins on the school website. Now, let's see what the TWH crew have been cooking up for us this week. So today the New England Patriots play against the Dallas Cowboys for the sixth game of the season. The New England Patriots haven't had the best season so, so far because they're 2-3, and three, so they have like two wins and three losses. But they do have a totally different team than they did last year, like with a rookie quarterback and a completely new offense. And their defense is kind of new also. Hopefully t uh, today the Patriots can get off to a better uh, start and try and win this game and try and win today. They are, they have home field advantage, so it should it should help it should help them. But like you, like you never know with, with football. The Patriots are looking to have a better season than they did last year because last year they missed the playoffs and they weren't good and they they and like I hope they're really good this year but it's only thankfully it's only the beginning of the season like anything anything could happen but hopefully they make it to the playoffs. Oh! 
Hollywood nowadays has three core movie genres. Sequels to very, very old films, remakes of very old films, and sequels of nowadays films. This is a hybrid of the two. The Addams Family 2. Me and a few of my friends just recently saw it in theaters, and we're going to be talking about it on this week's movie review. Hey Matthew, so remember the other day when we watched The Addams Family 2 together? Actually, I didn't remember. It was probably so bland. Yeah, so what did you think about that movie? It was terrible. Yeah, well, like which part? Like the directors? Because yeah. it was a cash grab, the story was cliched, Oh yeah, there were also a ton of plot holes, right? Yeah. Yeah. And also, the plot was basically derived with almost every single terrible sequel animated movie ever. And the characters were basically just stereotyped because they didn't really know. They thought, oh wait, for the original... They're also like one-dimensional. The original really Adam's Family watch. movie was pretty great. That guy is old, let's make him even older and also an octopus. Something there was an epic kind of fight at the end that I actually kind of liked. But it wasn't really personal, so I didn't like that, you know? It would have been better if Anonymous turned out to be his daughter and to see how she overcame that. There's so many parts of the movie where it's so obvious that they're trying to appeal to the children. They move stuff everywhere because <laughs> children don't care if it's bad or not. They just care that there's something moving in yeah. front of them. Yeah. I give it a yeah. 0 or 1 out of 10. Honestly, I thought it was... Princess. I thought it had like one third that was pretty good. It the directing not good, the plot not good, characters not good, the writing fine, right? That that fine is the one thing that brought it up for me. Honestly, I would give it maybe more near a five out of ten. Well, that was our review of the Adams Family too. Have a nice life. I'll be back before you die. of the Montreal West Coast, and this week I'm going to be doing a game review for the game Hitman 3. This isn't the first game in the series, which the three might have tipped you off, but there have been many before the first three games. It's actually a long-ranked series that started in the early 2000s, and I really like it a lot. Your goal is basically to go to a certain area, kill your targets, and then leave. It's actually pretty cool. There's puzzle solving, it's got great graphics. It's all about timing and accuracy most of the time, and I really like the game. I'd give it 4 out of 5 stars. I wonder what you think. But anyway, that's just what I think. I hope you enjoyed this, and I'm Finnegan Duggett of the Montreal West Alex, and bye. That's it for this week. We'll be back next week with another episode. Until then, we'll keep the nightlights on. Be well.